Okay, so I'm going to explain what a CSV file is. A CSV stands for Comma Separated Values, which might sound a bit techy and not make a lot of sense right now, but give me a couple of minutes and hopefully I will make that all very obvious. So to start off with, it's important to understand what a text file actually is. Okay. So this is a text file. It's just a very simple poem, but quintessentially it contains letters and numbers. Importantly, a big difference uh, and why we fundamentally call it a text file is because the difference between this file and the Word document on the right is the fact that the Word document can contain formatting. It can contain larger text, centralized text, it can contain charts, tables, pictures, and even formulas. And the same thing goes for an Excel spreadsheet. So the fundamental difference, first of all, when we refer to a text file, is we're referring to a file that contains just text. None of that, what we would technically call bloat. It generally means we get a smaller file format, but it isn't just about that. It's more about the fact that a basic file format, such as a text file, can be opened up by developers in pretty much any application they want. Whereas, if they're working with a specific file format, such as uh, an Excel file, a Word file, um, or some other sort of um, specific file format, they can generally only open those in certain applications. So it's restrictive. So a text file is smaller, offers uh, us the ability to store more information in, in a smaller amount of space. Therefore, it's also quicker to transfer around the internet by email. But it's also fundamentally so basic that pretty much any application we want to use will open it. Okay, so here is some mock data. So for all those people who've been dealing with nothing more than GDPR recently and are probably freaking out about now, um, none of it's real. So here we have essentially a table of data, a database, spreadsheet, call it what you will, but it's organized in columns. So we've got ID, first name, last name, house number, and so on. Okay. Now just to make a point, I'm going to put some formatting on here. And I am going to um, make that italic, make that bold. I'm going to um, highlight that entire column actually and make it yellow. That text place, we can see it. So there you go. It doesn't really matter what I put on there. But the fact is that I've now got some, some formatting on there. Uh, I might even um, change that first phone number to a formula one plus one there you go two so that's my file so I'll just save that first of all so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this out as a CSV file and I'm going to show you what it looks like and why we call it a CSV file okay so to save it as a, as a CSV file um, you click on file click save as and then in the file type you drop it down to CSV So there you go, I'm choosing comma, uh, comma delimited, comma separate values, click save. Now it's going to give me a warning message when I do this, because it's basically going to tell me, are you sure? Because it's trying to warn me that I'm going to lose all this extra special formatting and formulas and colors, which is what I was describing is the essence of a text file. So it says here, some features in your workbook might be lost. If you save it as a CSV, do you want to continue with this format? Yes. Okay, so that's done. So. Bear with me a second. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to open up the CSV file that we just created. Okay, so here we go. On the left, I've got the CSV file we created, and on the right, my original spreadsheet. So you can see straight away, no colors, no bold. The title across the top is just text. It's not uh, highlighted in black with a um, white font. Uh, so we've lost all the formatting, and if you, if I just go across here, you'll see the phone number just there is just says two. In other words, I've lost my formulas as well. Okay, so 
principally speaking, a text file contains all the information that is in a another file, in this case, an Excel file, except we have lost all of the formatting formulas and so on. So it's just the text. Now, what that means to um, a developer or someone creating a process for a system is the fact that they've got a very simple file to work with, no complications, not trying to read through the format of things or the formulas, just straightforward text. Now, the key thing to look at is that between each item, so you've got in the first line there, you've got item one, you've got a comma, then you've got Dominic and a comma, then Falk and a comma, and so on. So basically, every column is separated by a comma. Okay, and that's why we call it a comma separated value file. Now, the reality is that it's quite possible uh, to use, instead of a comma, uh, another delimiter, which is the thing that we, we call the thing that divides the columns up. You could use pretty much anything. You could have a slash, you could have a hash, uh, you, you can use a tab. There's, a, there's a, a whole range of things you could do, but strictly speaking, as a, as a standard, we tend to use commas. Now there's one final thing I just want to show you about uh, CSV files that you may come across. And that is the fact that if we're separating the columns with commas, what if the file contains commas? Right, so if I look at the um, street names here, for example, go to the first one and I put some commas in there. Let's do the second one. There we go. So my file now contains commas, which strictly speaking um, we try to avoid when we're holding data uh, because it just simply makes our life a little bit easier but it's it's not impossible to deal with so again i'm going to save this out as a csv file okay so here's the csv file i just saved out so um, some applications will save out the file as well as using commas to separate the columns it will also enclose all the text within those commas with speech marks as standard. So you get lots and lots of speech marks. Uh, that's what we call a text qualifier. In other words, it's the thing that encapsulates the text in between the commas. So if you look at this file here, what Excel does, um, this is version 2016, is it's done the same thing as before, it's put commas between the columns. But when it gets to a, a field that contains commas, what it's done is it's encapsulated them between speech marks. Okay, so again, when we open a file like this um, in Excel, Excel will intelligently read that anyway, but if it didn't, we would simply say, open this file, uh, a comma is the delimiting factor, and we're using speech marks as a text qualifier. Okay, so it's kind of difficult to demonstrate um, because Excel is intelligent enough that when I open up that CSV file, there you go, it's all sorted out already. It knows that the speech marks are text qualifiers, and it knows the commas are column separators and there you go there's the data opens up perfectly fine as you can see it's a csv file not an excel file and those first two rows were inserted the commas in um in days of old uh with slightly older versions of excel when you open up a file uh, that's a csv file you'd go through an import process and it would ask you to say uh, what is the um separator and you would select comma and you'd have the option then to select speech marks as a text qualifier. So you'd have to tell it these things. Uh, clearly in the newer versions of Excel, you don't have to do that anymore. So if you've got an older version of Excel and you're confused or struggling and you need some help um, with opening up a file that you've downloaded from us, by all means, just get us on live support. We'll happily talk you through it. Okay, thanks.